Hey guys, it's Sandro here, and today's video is a direct comparison of six paint scratch removers, including Maguire's Scratch X, Chemical Guys VSS, Turtle Wax Repair and Renew, New Finish Scratch Doctor, T-Cut Scratch Remover, and Shine Armor Scratch and Swirl Remover. Now just to be clear about what these products are, they're primarily used to remove isolated scratches or defects on car paint or clear coat, such as those fingernail scratches and the door handles, scuffs and deeper water or bird poo etchings, and certainly clusters of light swirls or really anything that causes a substantial scratch or defect on a vehicle's paint. Additionally, most of them are all-in-one solutions, meaning that apart from removing the paint defects, they're meant to finish well with good gloss and leave some protection behind on the paint. What they aren't, at least in general, are compounds or polishes used to correct or buff a whole panel or all your car's paint. Now, as many viewers of this channel will know, you don't need a specific scratch remover to deal with these defects, as many compounds, polishes, and waxes will address these defects typically even better. But for those that may not have or want to purchase several car compounds, polishes, sealants or machine polishes and pads, or take the time to better understand paint correction, this is a far cheaper and less intimidating solution for the average car owner, and as such I wanted to discover which one of these scratch removers will be the best option. I will try and touch on a few things about these products like the application, but I really want to keep it simple in this video, so there's two main areas of assessment I'll be focusing on, which is firstly their ability to remove paint defects with a simple hand application, and secondly to finish well, meaning they won't leave a horrible hazed, scratched or patchy finish. So let's get to it. And as per usual, prior to making this video, I did spend quite a bit of time testing and becoming more familiar with these scratch removers on several paints and defects, which I'll additionally use that data to form my conclusions. But on this test panel, I've placed a number of varying defects to help demonstrate what I've discovered so you guys can also have a look and judge the results for yourselves. This is a soft black paint, meaning it's difficult to work on and I'm going to use a great inspection light to show you the results in an honest manner, compared to some of the, let's say, dishonest and hyped up videos you may have seen from some of these manufacturers of these products. Now as far as the application goes, it's pretty standard across the board. Just apply a few drops to an applicator pad or even a cloth and work the product in very well. Using too much product will degrade the user experience and potentially even the results. And I'd recommend working smaller sections than I'm demonstrating here. Some more advice I can offer for newcomers is that applicator pads are generally better than cloths because the inner foam helps more evenly disperse the pressure creating a more uniform finish. Secondly, microfiber is a more efficient material to polish with, so it will cut faster than a foam applicator. Though in some cases on soft and sensitive paints like Japanese cars, you will achieve a better finish using a foam applicator. Thirdly, when working by hand, work the product in very well using either circular or back and forth motions for at least a minute or two and with moderate to heavy pressure. Just understand that you're primarily cutting or removing clear coat and only secondarily applying a wax or sealant. So in order to level down a scratch or defect with good success, you need to use a little aggression and give it a little time. Additionally, most of these products do contain fillers or waxes that will flash and bond more successfully with some added work time. You can even wait a couple of minutes before wiping them down to ensure they bond effectively. As far as the wipe off itself goes, there's nothing substantial to mention here. Just use a decent car detailing microfiber towel to gather it up and buff it streak free. And lastly, just be realistic that it will most likely take several attempts to remove most scratches successfully when working by hand. With all the testing I did on and off camera, I tried to be as consistent as possible in terms of how long I polished and with the amount of pressure. I will be giving all these sections a secondhand polish to further assess the results, but for now let's discuss the results at this stage. 
Starting with Meguiar's, there's just no denying that as a well-balanced result, meaning scratch removal and a decent finish, it's the best one here. Now as you can see, none of the scratch removers have removed most of the defects or finished rather well. But after just a couple of minutes of hand polishing, the section with Meguiar's is without a doubt the best and at least shows good potential. Chemical Guys on the other hand had very little impact in removing the existing scratches. And what's more, its finish is also rather disappointing and overall it's the second worst one here in this area. Turtle Wax actually surprised me in just how well it cuts as its defect removal is give or take one of the best here. However, its finish is simply horrific. While testing it out initially, I thought I had some grit stuck on my applicator or something, creating all those scratches in its finish. But after switching to a new applicator and then even shaking the heck out of the bottle, nothing changed. It's simply just too unrefined with some aggressive abrasives that seem to hack into the paint, potentially creating even worse scratches than the ones you're trying to remove. New finish Scratch Doctor was about the middle of the road here for me. Its defect removal was fairly reasonable, better than most, though certainly not the best, and its finish again was quite decent and perhaps a touch better than most. All in all, on this test panel with just one polishing attempt, T-Cut was pretty close to center and to new finish in terms of defect removal and finish, but overall I'd still give a slight advantage to new finish here in both its cut and finish. Shine Armor actually had the worst cutting ability of the lot, removing very little of the existing scratches, and apart from Turtle Wax's horrific finish, it was perhaps the next worst one here, so not a great result for it in this first test. Like I mentioned earlier, in most cases you will need to repeat the process to achieve a better result. So all the sections were polished again in the same manner before having a look at the results and drawing these conclusions that will also be based on all the on and off camera testing I performed. So once again, I think it's pretty clear though, you guys can certainly make up your own mind that Meguiar's has simply removed or at least filled in more of the original defects than any other section here and also finished with better gloss and clarity across the board. And this is something that stayed true throughout all my testing on hard, medium and the softer paints. But on soft paints like this one, it's certainly not a perfect finish and I also think that one more set of passes here was needed to help remove a little more of the remaining defects. Quite honestly, nothing much seemed to change here in the section with Chemical Guys. It's just simply not capable of removing anything but very light scratches and furthermore, its finish here is rather bad, filled with polishing scratches everywhere. Now I did see it finish a little better on harder paints, but even given that, its cutting ability on those harder paints was certainly even worse. All in all, it's a swirl remover for hard paints and shouldn't be used for anything else. But even then, I think there's loads of better choices out there. I just can't accept or get over the fact that Turtle Wax creates such deep and destructive polishing scratches during its application. It's just not acceptable and it's really troubling. I do think it cuts very well, as good as any product here, and once again these polishing scratches aren't as bad on harder paint types. But as a whole, I just want to believe that maybe there was an issue with this batch, that it had some large or unrefined abrasives causing this issue, as I don't want to believe this is how Turtle Wax would want it to be. For me, new finished Scratch Doctor is smack bang in the middle here. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but I do think it was rather consistent and steady in the way it performed. I did see it finish reasonably well on medium to hard paints and after a few more applications, I saw some decent results. So I don't love it or hate it, it's fine and could be a reasonable option. I think T-Cut surprised me, at least in a good way, more so than any of the others. Now one thing to understand about T-Cut is that it's more of a traditional compound, so it doesn't seem to fill defects but rather remove them. I think that's why just after a simple application, it didn't perform as well as some of the others that do leave some fillers or waxes behind. But after a second application, you really get to understand that its cut is perhaps the best one here, and taking into account that it has no fillers or sealants in the finish, its gloss and clarity is way better than I would have expected. Shine Armor was more or less identical to Chemical Guys here in the way it performed. 
That's to say its cutting or defect removal ability is low and its finish is average to put it nicely. This is another product I simply couldn't recommend and I'd personally look elsewhere and I'll leave it at that. So my conclusions summed up are Meguiar's is the best all rounder here and the one I'd recommend. T-Cut is a second good option and if you apply a wax over it, it could actually be pretty close to Meguiar's in the end. New finish was reasonable, it's fine and you could certainly do a lot worse. As far as turtle wax, chemical guys and shine armor go, honestly guys, there's loads of better options and I'll once again leave it at that. I was going to end the video here, but as someone who's done this professionally for quite some time, I just felt a little uneasy pointing viewers to these products and these methods when I know for a fact there's a better way. First and foremost, if you don't want to get into machine polishing, my advice here is forget these scratch removers and get yourself a good medium compound like Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. It will cut or remove the defects in a hand application about as good as any of these products but will most definitely finish far better and even provide a better user experience and far better value. This whole scratch remover category is honestly filled with subpar products aimed at consumers that just don't know any better. I've done a review on Meguiar's Ultimate Compound showing it in both hand and machine applications if you want to check out that video. But here I'm just going to quickly show a machine process with a very affordable and fantastic mini polisher to hopefully display how much easier your life will be using a better product and letting the machine do the work. So I'm using a microfiber pad with just a few drops of compound, using a high machine speed with moderate pressure and polishing for a minute in total. Then I'm going to switch to a foam pad, use only one drop of compound, a lower machine speed and lighter pressure and polish again for about a minute. Then I'm going to grab a nice car wax, put a drop on a foam applicator, work it in, allow it to haze and then buff it off. In total, this took me 3 minutes and could not have been easier compared to the gruelling, chaotic and frustrating hand polishing. But what's even more important is that although not perfect, the results are astronomically better. I teach detailing classes and the one comment I get more than any other after a student completes a machine polishing class is that they had wished they had done this sooner as it was far easier, safer, with outstanding results compared to the hand polishing they've always done in the past. I think I'll leave it there guys and if you enjoyed this video and would like to say thanks and help support future content, you can do so by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash ccad in which I'll leave a link to in the description box or you can now hit the thanks button below the video and thank you everyone for the support so far. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please share it with others, give it a like and comment below to show your support for this content and I'll see you guys soon.